Inferno does against Mancal. Let's see if he can bring back his number two spot at RPI. Mm, yeah. Because Darwin Mancal is <laughs> kind of defending it right now. I don't know if he's played Lightning, though, so... That's uh, oh yeah. I think that's the, hmm. the question. Well, how would Mancal Lightning go? I have no idea. That's a good yeah. question. They're gonna have to play eventually. All right, getting tech traces already. Oh, get up a deck. Too good. Yeah. Well, Darwin was uh, at least watching how I was beating Mancal, which I was pretty much outweighing certain things that Mancal was doing. Like I just upset his rhythm really, really significantly. And he didn't know what to do about it in the neutral. Yeah, you were just, uh, and you, you called out like all of his techs, and uh, you really uh, did a good job just spacing around everything. Yeah, well, the trick that I did with um, the, like, alright, so let's say I nair him, and then this is kind of similar to what I mentioned last time. Uh -huh. Right there, okay, exact situation that Darwin up smash right there, I yep. wave dash back. That covers roll in, if they tech in place, I'm not going to bother covering it, I'm just going to see how they react, Right. because they're pressured. Yep, the secondary um, choice. If they tech away, and it's not like restricted by the edge, same deal. I still have stage control. So Shine, uh, I run over, if I think he's gonna give it get up attack, like this is because he was buffering something. Uh -huh. Then I usually up air. Yeah. That's a combo starter. You did the uh, back air a little earlier there. Um so I just kind of uh I spaced around everything he did right there. Um and then he wasn't dealing with me and Uh yeah. you can actually shine out of his box. I miss the timing every time though. Yeah, it's so, hard. <laughs> Mika got us with the. Oh, pick it up for now. Mika's also gone for that kind of recovery too, which, uh, if you're already in the air and not ready for it, it's a little bit harder to react to. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Calling out a jump or just F smashing. Your your choice. <laughs> <laughs> it happened to punish a jump. <laughs> Which, that's what I'll give Darwin. <laughs> yeah, that happened. I should jump. Lucky you. <laughs> like, alright, this is actually kind of sound advice to think about it. Whenever I get hit, I classify it a few different ways. Mm -hmm. One, they read me. Right. Two, they reacted to what I did. Uh -huh. Three, they were just plain lucky. Just lucky, yeah. <laughs> um, so, that F smash that Darwin did to take the stock, he was lucky. So that laser, he was kind of lucky. <laughs> That was dash deck. Um, I don't know. It just like it just like worked. Yeah, like th th those kinds of approaches. If you think about them, it's like, okay, well, based on this analysis of how I got punished, that that down air was definitely spacing around it. He could have reacted. Um, so that means it was bad spacing, bad move choice by Darwin. Oh, bad move. Sure, everything means you did something wrong if you uh, like if you get punished. Like, oh, I know how to improve now. But if it's as easy as Wow, he just charged F smash and then something happens. Like right there, if Darwin F smash, right? Oh, that was a read. Now I know I will not attack that way. <laughs> right. Ooh, that was, this is a big shine out of shield. Okay, yeah, looking for some shine down here, maybe. Darwin not stretching combo, good job. I didn't want him to jump on the platform or anything. Should be, yep, alright. Okay. Last stock. Last stock, game. this is game one, so this is pretty big. Who gets the counter pick first? So there's just something you don't want. China out of shield oh. is another thing I caught Mancow with a lot. Yeah, like, China out of shield would have been really good right there. Okay, good wave dash back. Ooh. That's poor spacing by Mancow. Not really oh my god, that's it! Yeah. Uh, that was all because Mancow just uh, overcommitted with that nair. Um, then he panicked. So, very important turnaround in Darwin's favor right there. Um, Mancow did not have to lose the stock that way. Mm -hmm. He should be walking out of that thinking, okay, well, all I did was nair at the wrong moment. Yeah, like other than that. I didn't have enough pressure on Darwin to make him stay in shield. Wait, why was I nairing anyway? He was just in shields. Right. If he was trying to punish wave dash back, that means he should have overshot the aerial. If he mm -hmm. was trying to punish you being in shield, you should have grabbed. Um, that's all the kind of stuff he has to think about. So this is, uh, Darwin, uh, was pretty good at the chain grab, as we saw earlier. Oh, there's a good wait by Darwin. Uh, he, he only full hopped a little bit in the corner, too, which shows a little bit of restraint. Is he gonna do it there? No. That's that's actually a really interesting down tilt. I thought Darwin was gonna spam full hop in the corner, mm -hmm. like he was against RC. Like, that double jump. Yeah, here. yeah. Oh. Not quite dead. 
Oh, yeah, you're dead. Yeah, no, never mind. <laughs> Dauron's still stuck by lasers. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Um, I wonder if he tried to down B. I actually. Oh, Mancow's slowing it down now. Yeah, I don't uh, like this counter pick by Mancow. I think he's a lot better on, like, platform stages, because his platform combo game is pretty good, and uh, he gets comboed pretty hard by Fox here. Yeah, Dauron not showing the chain grab. Uh, but up tilts are great. I, lo I love doing the uh, up throw, up tilt. Hope that they DI the Nair inward, and then do whatever you want. Because it's awesome when they <laughs> DI the Nair in. But no one DI's that way. Like, uh, well, actually, they only do it at kill percents, and it's amazing if you can do that and get the weak Nair. I think I actually did that to you in uh, the first friendly. I'm sure, I'm sure you did. <laughs> actually, wait. I think yeah, I think I actually remember specifically that. <laughs> yeah, I did the the weak nair. And yeah, yeah, that was like the first dodge. <laughs> Alright, there's the wave dash back that I was doing. Mm -hmm. um, Man cow spot dodge. If Darn remembers that next time, then he's got data. Man cow walking away. Oh, uh, okay. So interesting laser roll in. Um, weak back air. Oh, is he gonna get gimped? Darn could have got him. Got him anyway. Yeah, didn't really matter. Yeah, Man cow dropped that get that stock. Um, those little things are really what add up. Like, uh, I just I briefly told Mankow after the the winner's final set, like all he needs to do is clean up his neutral, and like when that happens, uh, you just have to think about, um, okay, well, what are those one or two little mistakes that I'm consistently doing that if I don't do them, I'm not gonna get punished. Right. And then when you take out those, if you're playing against someone with a good enough punish game that. Like, they're just gonna take your stock every time. Wow. You just now have two additional stocks to your entire game. That was basically a zero death. And. Oh, uh, never mind! I spoke too soon! <laughs> Don dropping that too. Well. They both had uh, huge combos and neither of them finished. Yeah, they've. Uh, this is not the only time we've seen them at high percent. Same stock. Oh, Mankow doing the same double jump. Oh, uh, that's where I look for. Oh, he has no jump! He has no jump! Yeah. Yeah. Damn, now it's even. <laughs> double jumps. He does. I do, Mankow does double jumps a lot. Yeah. I don't know. A lot. A lot of Falcos, Falcons like to double jump because it's it's not as high as a full hop. Um, I double jump a lot. Yeah, kind of. Uh, it's also a different timing. Yeah, that's you, you can like fast fall earlier and stuff like that. It's also a different thing that you can do with momentum. Like you can go forward. And yeah, then and then the jump, double jump straight up. Is your momentum. Mm -hmm. And also manipulates your ECD for landing on the edge or the platform. Oh yeah. Ooh. Okay, so if Darwin shined oh Mankow off stage after the up throw, that would have been super cool. That's what I do. Alright. No! Oh, he got the Duraki! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh That's, uh, that is not a typical setup for the Duraki wall jump. I hate that. I don't, I never, like, that happens to me sometimes and I never know what to do because it's like, I didn't want to do that. And then I just, like, I, I don't know how people like. accidentally do that, honestly. Like, okay, so I know how it works. Right, yeah. It's just like, you, he was too close to the stage when he double jumped. But it's so rare that you do it accidentally. You have to try it to actually set it up sometimes. I don't know, it's like... Hey, Donna, do you know how to intentionally set that up? Yeah, you just... Do you know how to intentionally set that up, out of curiosity? Yeah. Fine. Don't worry about it. You like you like trying to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> you double jump and like you hug the wall as you rise back up. So like, yeah. Oh, just shield grabs it. So yeah, unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Um, making our set closer. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. That, that's a looking like pizza in a cup. <laughs> the improv thunders combo. Ooh, that's the the down air that I look for. Uh, that kind of Falco approach. Um, and I also think that Falco... Oh! Yeah. Um, Fox can go out and react to the Falco B. Oh, no, double jump, maybe. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, it's 1-1. One, one. Um, Spot dodge shine. Nick has got some of those shield drops. I kind of wonder how he feels. When, uh, or how other people feel that like they they learn shield dropping, and then they lose to somebody that doesn't shield drop. <laughs> like oh, 
This guy doesn't even shield drop yet. Like, does he practice this game? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> It's like, okay, I can understand, like, if you lose to someone who doesn't even, like, wave dash, right? Then that's like, okay, that's kind of dumb, but, like, shield dropping is, like, it's not that important. Uh, it's very useful. Yeah, but it's, like, it's not, like... Like, okay, I can't do it consistently, and I don't remember to try it, yeah. but I read people that shield drop. Yeah, which yeah, is that's totally the thing. worth it. I do it to Billy all the time, and it's super funny. It's, like, actually... I used to do it to Mike, too. It's so, yeah. It's huge. Like, whenever he would just try shield dropping, which is over and over, um... <laughs> yeah. Like, F smash. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like 50% of the time when I shield drop I get punished. <laughs> oh, darn I got a bear earlier. Even if Falco doesn't side B there, if you throw out a bear, if you throw out a nair, you can punish the, the up B most of the time. Like you throw one out, oh they they didn't side B, I can still uh, like grab the edge, get invincibility, back air. Um it's very, very useful stuff. So like yeah, right there he did the two back airs. Uh, pretty much what I was talking about. Right, get to yeah. side B anyway. Ooh, I don't like that side B. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's a read, right? right? Um. Well, you can't react to that, can you? You can't react to the angle. Right. But yeah. Darwin's been covering that kind of stuff consistently. Um. Like he's been covering that kind of area of the side B okay. more than anything else. So I wouldn't necessarily call it a read. I would just call it like. A habit of Darwin. Okay. Um, yeah, like, yeah. Oh wow, this guy just covers the same thing all the time. I'm never gonna do that option. Right. So that's what I would take away from it. So if I know Darwin's always gonna do like invincible ledge hop bear and it's always a high bear, I'm just gonna go for the edge because they always leave the edge. Yeah, yeah. Or I'm just gonna always go above it because wow, you just get on the edge. <gasps> oh, right, another uh, another last stock situation each. This is a, yeah, this is a close set. Yeah, they've had close set. Oh, time. he's just... Ooh. See, he that's did, the same, yeah. same height. Yeah, yeah. Can't tell if it's totally a read, but Mikael is not changing it. Alright, so Darwin not able to... Or, no, Mikael not able to have a repeat of performance so far from last week where we 3-0 Darwin in his finals. Um, oh, did that happen? Oh, that did happen. Yeah. Wait, no, that was just semis. Mancow beat Codeman in these finals last week. No Codeman okay. this week. Yep, no Codeman. Codeman Probably is not in the many, chat. Uh, crazy. Oh yeah. Yeah, he is. Ready? That uh, light green is not easy to read on white. <laughs> so fountain. Uh, I don't know. I like it. Why not? Um. Okay, so fountain's gonna disrupt the the platform game from both from both players. And you really have to be confident in dealing with any platform height. Mm -hmm. um, so, mini theory to why I think Mango is actually pretty good on this stage, it seems. He's so, um, like, uh, a good word for it. Um, unpredictable is a little bit not what I'm thinking about, but, mm. uh, like, He's just able to take any kind of situation and come up with good ideas. Okay, um, yeah. So, like, say Pokemon Stadium, super janky kind of stuff happens. Mango will somehow pick something amazing that you don't right. expect. And wow. with platform heights like this that are changing, he's going to come up with interesting oh, yeah. things that you He'll, he'll adapt expect. to whatever the platform is currently yeah, at. But if you have infinite knowledge of the game, you know exactly all of the options that could happen right. on the stage for any platform layout, including when it's going up and down, because, like I said, you have right. infinite knowledge. Which, if we're thinking about infinity right now, <laughs> by the way, I don't think it's technically infinite knowledge. Like, it's there, like finite. Yeah, yeah, there is a finite number of. There are only so many frames. So, yeah. And frames. Like, sure, it's a big. It's a big number. number <laughs> question mark. But. Oh, it shines them. Someone's better at improvising than. Uh, yeah, improvising. Else there you if, go. Uh, yeah. Mango's got that improvisation. Darwin, meanwhile, taking good advantage of the stage. Yeah, it actually looks like this was a pretty... Not... I don't know. Seems like Darwin's really comfortable here. Yeah, if Darwin does win, I'm interested in trying the Fox Dude with him. Um, Ooh, like, yeah. I, I was helping him out with a matchup recently. Um, I don't think I've so ever seen you two play the Fox Dude. I've done Falcon with his Fox, mostly. I feel like what I've been doing recently with my characters is... Uh, I'm just gonna pick characters for the person. Oh, uh, like, oh wow, this guy yeah. sucks against my blank. <laughs> they can't be my Falcon. 
Okay, I'll just go Falcon. It just makes it easier for me. Right. So, like, Darwin, RC, they don't beat my Falcon. Uh -huh. Kevin's way better against uh, fast followers. Alright, fine. I'll try Mark. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's just what I did at Cayenne. Um, calls out the jump. Wow, well, solid set by Darwin. Final game worked out in his favor, definitely. So they, uh, so Darwin will now be meeting you in Grand Finals. Yeah, earning his two seed. Ooh. Yeah, Darwin uh, currently ranked below me on the Capital Region Smash Ladder, so that, Not will, anymore. that will change tonight. 